Joining me now is Dr. Mark Graybert, Executive Director of the AI Institute and founder of Boston Dynamics, to tell us about the philosophy of research and development. Thank you for joining us today. It's good to be here. So how should engineers approach a robotics research today? You know, I think there's lots of ways to do research in robotics. One of the things I'm interested in is combining the hardware development with the software development. I think when those two things are really tightly coupled, you get the best results. These days, there's a lot of people who think that computers are going to solve everything. And the computers are really important, the software is really important, but if it's done without the hardware, it leaves something to be desired. Why is early testing and iteration an important part of the robotics engineering process? Well, in robotics, there's a lot that we don't understand yet about how uh, the physical interactions between the world, there's a lot of variety in the world. So you can have a theory about how things are going to work, but if you don't do an experiment and collect data from the experiment, you really don't know what's going to work and what doesn't. So we found that by doing lots of experimentation, looking at the data, and then redesigning the experiment or the robot or the software, and then going at it again is really a much more effective way to make progress. And what do you feel are best practices for incorporating advances in robotics? You know, I don't know exactly what best practices is in robotics. Robotics is such a new field and there's lots of different people taking different approaches. I think I'd rather see people try something new than try and tell them this is how you should do it. Obviously, there's some areas where you need a little discipline and organization, and maybe there's some best practices there. But by and large, I think people should be creative uh, and uh, cook up new ways of doing things. Yeah, great message for the next generation of engineers. Exactly. Yeah. And are there any enabling technologies in dynamic robot space that are uh, particularly interesting right now? Well, one of the things I'm interested in is dynamic mobile manipulation. We've already used dynamics to really improve the mobility of robots, especially legged robots. But so far in manipulation, there's still a lot of static work done where grasping is the main thing. And I think that manipulation is a little bit more like juggling than grasping. And I'm hoping in the future research that we're going to kind of develop that concept and uncover a lot more functionality and uh, usefulness out of robots. Finally, where do you see the future of robotics research moving in the next five to 10 years? I think one of the really important things is to start adding more AI and cognitive function to robots. Robots are still pretty dumb and uh, they're nothing like people and we need to make them a little bit more like people. And I think once we do that, then their physical skills, which are already starting to get developed, will be much more accessible and useful in robots. So I think the future involves combining athletic intelligence with cognitive intelligence and that's going to really open up new doors. Thank you for joining us today. Oh, it's good to be here. Thank you for having me.